Welcome back everybody, Kai Swans here with another episode of Football Manager 2017 and today we start a new series with Bristol Rovers. I said I'd do this in the last episode of Kamal and Town. Um, I'm sure many of you haven't seen that and are just watching this and that's fine. Uh, and yeah, I'm going to be playing as Bristol Rovers who are currently in League One. They've done two back-to-back -back promotions uh, and as recently as about... I think it was the beginning of 2016, they got taken over by a new owner. Um, let's actually have a look at them, I think it's under all staff, here we go. Uh, Wael al Qadi, who has put some money in, but not too much, he's sort of kept it mediocre, uh, which is nice, he's sort of building squad, they're currently planning on building a stadium, uh, a new large stadium just outside of Bristol. Um, yeah, I, I currently live in Bristol, hence why I, I do follow Bristol Rovers a bit. and. They're doing quite well this season in real life, as many of you probably know, um, after two consecutive promotions in which Matty Taylor scored the most goals out of any, um, I think it's professional side or league side in England, uh, which is really impressive uh, in, in the season. I think that's that was a stat anyway. But yeah, this guy, Lincoln Amazing, and will hopefully carry us through. He's, he's the best player that we own. Uh, in this squad. Um, I might as well show you the squad then. So as you can see there's a lot of lone players in and a lot of the better players. If I sort by ability of what is that? The top 10 players? Yeah, the top 10 players. Only three we own and that's Matty Taylor, uh, Tom Lockyer the centre-back uh, and uh, Billy Bowden the winger. And so that's something that I'm vaguely worried about. And some of you who know the who know the Bristol Rovers squad may notice this guy doesn't play for them and no he didn't I've got him in on loan uh, we needed a second left back because there was only one left back in the starting 11 uh, so I brought this guy in on loan we're not paying his wages I don't think oh no we are we are paying two and a half grand a week um, but I really needed another left back and this guy's quality unfortunately he got injured for four weeks um, but he'll recover before long um, but yeah we got a very strong side if, if we look at just in terms of positions you can see there's at least two players for every position uh, who are good enough Matt Swan can go back to the under 23 who's covering for Jake Clark Salter who's currently recovering from an injury um, that guy 18 year old I think he's from Chelsea is it um, yeah from Chelsea very good uh, and I'm hoping he can do a lot once he recovers from injury for us um, especially considering Peter Hartley our captain is not the fastest with five pace that is that is a big worry for me um, but hopefully his greater like mental strength and fortitude uh, will help carry him through until Clark Salter can take his place on the side um, but yeah that was the only transfer I did was another left back I'll show you here if I go to transfers transfer history one transfer in total I did do a lot in terms of the staff if as you see here uh, didn't sack anybody but I hired a whole new uh, what three new scouts uh, a data analysis sports scientists uh, and a couple of coaches because the staff were looking a bit bare but now they look a lot better we had all of it was below average whereas now there's a there's a couple of best so yeah we're, we're looking really good in the staff front if we have a quick look at the coaches and training you can see we've got pretty good depth um, shooting isn't necessarily brilliant fitness and goalkeeping could be better um, but some of them are really good at the moment I've given myself in terms of my own reputation uh, I started off by clicking on the recommended uh, and then notching them both down one I think um, so I'm, I'm just below the recommended for this league which is pretty nice and yeah that's basically it for the intro and um, old board we have got a new senior fillet West Ham I managed to agree them that uh, get them to agree to that and a couple more staff members I got them to agree to that uh, and I'm hoping this season we can get a mid-table finish in real life if we have a quick look uh, at Skybet League One uh, in real life they're currently sitting mid-table 10 fish I think I think they've got about 40 points uh, I can't quite remember just under 40 something like that uh, they're expected here yeah, one of the bottom two bit of a worry that um but i think the squad are good enough to to certainly keep us up um they're far too good to be playing in league two um if we have a look at them quickly i think it's two and a half stars league two yeah two and a half stars league two standards so all these three star players oh no they're also league two okay so three and a half star players so we've got what okay not that many we've got seven players who are definitely league one caliber this guy especially is what's the championship on in the future he's currently league one as well so seven players who will be instrumental for us unfortunately a lot of them alone one thing i did do that saved a lot of money was Hiram boateng connor roberts and charlie cooker were each on like two grand a week in their loan deals uh, and i just asked the i just offered them a new contract especially because some of them only went till january i just did a contract uh, a loan extension where i paid no wages so that saved a lot of money in the long run um, all three of them about two grand a week that i've managed to save there um so that's pretty good yeah so let's have a look at the team i've gone for a 442 i can't really think of a secondary tactic for them i might do a 442 more 
Um, now it's, it's actually more of a 424 as it says there, 424 wide. Um, I'm not going to go for the whole hoofing the ball into the box, just a bit more direct, faster football. Um, maybe a bit of bit of counter-attacking, yep, yeah, counter-attacking structure, um, get the ball down the sides. So we've got two defensive-minded central midfielders, um, one a playmaker, the other one just to win the ball. Um, trying sort of a, a, a Leicester-esque tactic where the, these two just sit back, Boateng hopefully spray some balls forward, he's he's really good this Boateng bloke, not the fastest but well well rounded attributes, I like the look of him and those two should be instrumental to us. Back four playing very standard um, roles like support, automatic and defensive centre back, don't want them to do much with the ball, just want to get the ball to the two midfielders who dictate play. Ma uh, Luke James will be dropping back, I'm almost tempted to play him as a false nine but I think I won't hold defensive forward but he'll hopefully be in this space almost, uh, he's primarily he can play a winger or a striker and he may end up playing a winger sometimes but yeah I want, I want him to sit deep and Matty Taylor to finish off the chances up front so almost playing a 4-2-3-1. And yeah, you can see the, t the team, the only changes that are going to happen is, Paul ha is Peter Hartley come off and Clark Salter on. Uh, Lee Brown and Sean Cavern will be fighting for a spot on the right wing and Gaffney isn't currently my first choice. Uh, Burian Moore is, but unfortunately he's out for a week. Um, so yeah. I've decided to play this game against Gunthorpe rather than the Reading game because we're just going to lose the Reading game. It's not too much fun. If we win it, the next round will be played, but for now I'm I'm just going to play that. Uh, and I'm not going to do too many episodes, I think. Um, I can't think who the next episode will be. I'll have to plan that. Um, it, well, let's, let's have a look. The next episode will be um, Swindon. Here we go. Uh, because I think they're local rivals. Um, it would be nice to play a bit of a local rivalry um, and if there's any cup game around then I don't think there will be um, it might just be a one game episode I might shoot ahead to another game we'll see what happens next game but Swindon will definitely be played and I think this here FA Cup and Portsmouth I think those two might be that might be an episode there I can see that being an episode so that might be the third episode of the series and the fourth one yeah we'll see what happens um, but today we're playing against Scunthorpe who in real life I don't know if I said I think they beat them 3-1 at the beginning of the season I think this is actually the real um, the real game that happened. I think Scunthorpe through Bristol Rovers was on the 6th of August. Um, yeah, you can see he's got 45 minutes, but I really don't want uh, to play him for that little time. But I might uh, switch, where is it? Here you go. Switch off James Clark and put on Clark Salter. Unfortunately, we don't have a second left back. Oh, Clark Salter aside. That's perfect then. So if our left back gets injured, we can also play Clark Salter then. Yeah. Team selection, um, you've, we've already gone through the team, they're all looking pretty fit, Stuart Sinclair side, this guy a bit of a club legend, look at his beard, you can see why he's not been there long, two seasons, oh, whoops, I think he's only been there two seasons, three seasons, yeah okay, two previous seasons, but I'm quite sure, it even, yeah, he's quite a legend, well not a legend, but quite a well known personality at the club, um, and his determination will carry us through many games, I hope is hard-working aggressive nature um, and if I think he's becoming a bit of a liability we do always have as a second choice is it Owen Clark or something um, yeah Ollie Clark that guy will be coming in uh, or Chris Lyons both of them look really decent um, and offer a bit of variety that central midfield position where we're in fact all positions we're pretty well covered we just need to improve uh, and currently the loans are really helping us out in that aspect but yeah we will oh I can't have more than five I've got okay I didn't know that rule, so that means this guy comes off. I did not know that rule. I should have paid attention to it. So that might be a bit of a problem as we go later on, but should be okay. Um, and yeah, uh, it's a mid team. That, that came as a bit of a shock. Stuart Sinclair's lack of match shot, no, that's fine. Um, I didn't realise about the loan rule. Probably look like a bit of an idiot then. Um, but yeah, been in charge since July 2016. Oh, he hasn't been in charge much longer. So kind of thought manager. They're actually expected to come in like the top few positions, for fight for a playoff. Um, yeah, it's a special day. Um, I can't deny. Uh, yeah, injuries. Um, yep, yeah, there you go. They're playing a 4-4-2, slightly more defensive than us. Um, oh, bugger. Uh, I don't know if you can see that. I'm, I've got a. There you go. Hopefully that didn't come up. Let's have a look if it did. Uh, no, I don't think I did. There you go. Uh, continue to opposition instructions. No match. Uh, opposition instructions. I currently got somebody else to doing it, don't I? Maybe I don't. Um, I thought I set one of my. Um, hmm. None of my assistants. Oh, there you go. David Buckwell, you can do it. There you go. Thank you very much. Uh, and 
that did not work as planned all over the shop now AVG popped up sorry about that uh, hopefully I remember to edit it out if I don't yeah sorry <laughs> Um, but yeah, really bad team talk then, only two players responded, uh, and hopefully we can get something in this game. Um, I'm not going to play 3D, just not as not worth it really. Uh, and, oh wow, you can see the boards, we're very cluttered out here. Now I do want assists, but this, no, I'll keep that one up too. This highlight is going Scunthorpe's way, and wow, he shot it over fortunately for us. Um, league table can disappear, that's not important for quite some time, uh, but the rest is a bit important still. Anything gonna happen in this game? We're we're quarter of an hour in. There's one highlight goes to them. Oh, we've got a highlight now. Bowden whips it in. Unfortunately, we can't get the cross in. Um, but Jeffrey, is it Jeffrey? I don't know if it's Jeffrey. I'm calling him Jeffrey. Brown is tackled now. Scunthorpe are two on one here. Brilliant counter attack. Van Veen turns his man, turns around the keeper, scores. Unfortunately, that puts us one nil down. Not the best of results. Um, yeah, it, that's a bit disappointing to say the least. Yeah. Although we are expected to lose this game, it would have been nice to, to get something from it. And from the stats, you can see we're not too not being overplayed too much. We have actually got more of the possession. So it takes some time to load the first highlight. Um, it's a bit a bit annoying, this. And uh, Normally I cut this bit out, but I don't know if I will. Uh, yeah, Hopper plays it through to Van der Veen. It was terrible. The, we were caught out then. Who's, who's this guy? Boateng nearly caught up with him. Hartley didn't have a chance because he's so slow. Um, and that, that was what I was kind of worried about, is our centre-backs lacking the pace. I think Lockie's got, what, 11, 10, 11? Oh, no, 9 and 10. Yeah, a really slow back line. I think I'm going to drop them even deeper. Uh, there you go. Hopefully that'll do something. I was hoping to do... Oh, James, Luke James! We got a goal back while I was doing that change. Um, I was just saying, I was, I was hoping the two centre-backs would sit deep and the two midfielders would cover them well because our centre-backs aren't the fastest but here we see we did get a goal Matty Taylor predicted the bounce of the ball better than the defender rounded him had all five players rushing towards him left Luke James with all the space in the world so it was a simple pass by Matty Taylor tap in for Luke James and we're back in the game 1-1 20 minutes played um, and Sinclair gets the ball in the middle of the park here into Boateng forward to Taylor unfortunately it's cut out but Lockyer what a reading of the game then Taylor to Bowden oh Clark's intercepted but Bowden gets the second ball Luke James on his own in the middle of the park out wide to Brown the left back into Sinclair, uh, Stuart Sinclair to Boateng, forward to J Yams, Yams, James, uh, out to Gaffney, Gaffney whips one in, unfortunately Kirkland saves, is that the Kirkland used to, was it Fulham used to play for? Um, I don't know if it was so down here, wow he's got one hell of a career, played everywhere, but it was Liverpool maybe that I thought, or Wigan, 25 appearances for Liverpool is quite impressive, um, the 35 year old has been on quite a career, so that's probably why I know his name. If if you've been around that long, they have Mark Upson. Is that Matthew Upson, not Mark? That's he's a pretty decent pundit actually. I'm I'm not too disappointed with him in terms of punditry, and he's got some brilliant attributes, and is still faster than Hartley. Hartley, our captain. Yeah, that's a bit disappointing. And Scunthorpe come again. Hopper, Dawson, out to Morris. Morris shoots. Fortunately, it's just wide at the far post for him. Um, and we hold on for a bit longer. Am I extended? I'm going to change that to key. Um, I've had an extended because the last game I did um, on yeah I've, the last few games I've been doing extended because I wanted to win them uh, I don't know if you watched the command and save but I had a bit of a bad run of form towards the end um, but that's not to say it wasn't a successful few seasons there uh, I was really enjoying that but I'm taking a pause from that to do this Bristol Rovers save um, as I'm sure you can tell by the fact there's a Bristol Rovers save so our centre backs have not played well as we go into half time um, keep it up in the second half aggressive I'm not happy with that performance that worked everybody's fired up it's either red cards or goals that's why I say um, Gaffney doesn't look like he's having the best game nor Stuart Sinclair and on a yellow card the ball winning midfielder that is a bit of a worry so those are potential substitutions especially Stuart Sinclair or one of the centre backs on that ooh we've got a penalty though ooh who's that penalty taker I remember setting it as well I'm quite sure um, was it no it was clearly not him can't remember who it was, maybe Harren Boateng? Nope. Hmm. Cannot remember who the penalty taker is. Let's find out. Matty Taylor. I, I don't know why I didn't check him first. That was the most logical choice ever. Uh, and hopefully to get his first goal of the season. Nailed it. 2 1. Beautiful strike then um, by Matty Taylor. And I think I'm going to make two substitutions. Well, certainly Stuart Sinclair on a yellow card. Don't want to risk it. Ollie Clark, and he prefers to be a um, supporting defender. And Lockie and Hartley not hard the best of games in centre back uh, and one of them has got to come off I don't know which one though determination 12 
I feel his aggression might be useful. So Lockyer, having had the worst game as well, will be coming off. I don't think he likes to be... No, he doesn't. He wants to be defense. There you go. That should be fine then. Um, but yeah, a two on win. Don't really care about penalties, mate. Um, but yeah, two two on... Not a win yet. We're winning 2-1 is what I should have said, really. Um, and hopefully we can hold out for a bit longer. We've got the ball in the middle here. Oli Clark out to Brown. Uh, Brown? Brown. Um, Oli Clark again. Friar Boateng. Boateng. Brown. Uh, Clark even. Nice little passing in the middle. And Taylor's through. Taylor... Oh, that was skimming the post then. Just wide, unfortunately. Um, and... Could have extended our um, lead then, but unfortunately we did not quite. One player who is of note is this guy, Montano, the Colombian left winger. Has some decent attributes, a bit of good flair, technique, dribbling, crossing, pace. He's sort of like a Montero of League One. Um, not very good all round, but has some very important attributes, and again is inconsistent. So he might be useful to play uh, at times, to sort of as a wild card, you could say. Um, and as it stands, we're, we're leading this game quite comfortably. Clark has come in and shored up the defence a bit, added a bit of pace back there. Um, and it's, it's looking a lot better than it was in the first half, that's for sure. Um, yeah, ten minutes left, I might make my final change. I don't know if I want to take off a defender. Uh, maybe put Leadbite on for Roberts, a bit more experience in the middle of Roberts. I like Roberts, Connor Roberts from Swansea on loan, this guy. So it's going to be the winger off, uh, and I'm going to put on... Uh, Ellie Harris? Nah, Easter. Easter for Luke James. Uh, and Luke James is happy as a winger support, yep. But Easter will want to be... Oh, you want to... Oh, that's fine then. He can be a deep line forward. Um, Jermaine Easter, the third choice strike at the club, really. Technically second choice, because other strikers are also wingers. So they've, they've got a bit of benefit. Let's have a quick look at him. He's decent finishing. Obviously many of you will know um, Jermaine Easter, I think. I know his name, so I, f I feel like he's had a very industrial career, which he has. Swansea, yeah, he has played for Swansea. Six games, uh, one goal. That was when they were in the Prem, I believe. Um, I do vaguely recall him being there. Uh, and hopefully, if we can hold out for another 10 seconds, which normally these are just a wasted highlight, we can. And, well, we've beaten Sc Scunthorpe, so we're already doing better than real-life uh, Bristol Rovers were at this point with a 2-1 win. Um, that is a very solid victory for us. I'm, I'm pretty damn pleased by that. Uh, and, yeah, it sees us leaving seventh. Um... Obviously, the table is not important for quite some time, but yeah, thank you for watching this episode, really, and next time we'll be against Swindon, might decide to do another game, we'll see, I, I'm highly unlikely to do any more transfers, I'm really pleased with the squad, there's, there's depth in all positions, there's quality in most positions, um, and yeah, it's, it's definitely a good side that can compete for a mid-table finish and then next season we'll go again hopefully get promotion next season is, is sort of the aim um, via playoffs or automatic don't know um, but this season yep very much a getting used to it building my own side deciding on the style etc etc if we get promoted this season great um but the main aim mid-table get away from that relegation even the thought of relegation so yeah thank you very much for watching hope you enjoyed this series uh, this episode and will enjoy the series give it a like if you do tell me about uh, if you've done a save with Bristol Rovers or similar um, thank you for watching hope you enjoyed goodbye